From a distance, it looks like a mosaic, but a closer look and it's the conclusion of a massive four-day prostitution bust in Polk County between Tampa and Orlando. They came from all over the country with two from right here in South Florida. She was just 19 years old. Jeleni Aquino from Miami Gardens busted for prostitution. Deputies say she showed up at an undercover location to commit prostitution. The other person busted from Homestead, 40-year-old Gerald Adelis. Folk deputies say he answered an ad from an undercover detective posing as a prostitute. He was charged with one count of battery. We knocked at his homestead home. That's where neighbors say he lives with two children and a woman. No answer. The house locked up tight. Windows covered with blinds. His next door neighbor, Thomas Edge, just finds out about the bust. For real? Oh, no, no. I had no idea, nothing. Edge says he seldom gets to see Atlas because he's often out of town on business. It's not known if he was on business when he was busted. Edge says this comes as an absolute surprise because Atlas seems like a family man and always lending a helping hand. He'd be such a nice guy. He's a, you know, helping a neighbor if I need a tool or anything like that. I mean, you know, he's just not out of the ordinary type of guy. The SO posted ads on a website, Backpage.com. 92 people responded by showing up expecting sex. I like to get the money up front just no, to be it's sure. It's, hey, this is business, dude. Instead, they were met by detectives and arrested. Judd says the biggest bust, that of a California youth minister who was in Orlando for a conference. Minister Samuel Yoon thought he was meeting a 15-year-old girl. Knowing that we got this youth minister arrested who thought he was coming to have sex with a child.